Wall Street declined on Wednesday amid lingering geopolitical concerns and President Donald Trump's comments on the dollar and interest rates. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 59 points, or 0.29 percent, to 20,592. The S&P 500 lost 9 points or 0.38 percent, to 2,345 and the Nasdaq Composite dropped 31 points, or 0.52 percent, to 5,836. Rising U.S. tensions with Russia, North Korea, and Syria after U.S. missile strikes in Syria last week and the moving of U.S. warships toward the Korean Peninsula have kept investors cautious. Meanwhile, Trump said in a Wall Street Journal interview that the dollar was getting too strong, though he also said he would like to see interest rates stay low. Industrials and materials were the biggest drags on the market along with financials, while utilities, staples, and telecommunications gave the S&P 500 its biggest lift. The S&P Financial Index was down 0.9% a day ahead of results from three major banks in what will mark the start of the corporate earnings season. The Materials and Industrials Indexes both ended more than 1% lower on the day. Small company stocks did far worse than the rest of the market. The Russell 2000 Index gave up 18 points, or 1.3%, to 1,359. Delta Airlines, DALN, closed down 0.5% despite a better-than-expected quarterly profit and an upbeat forecast for current quarter passenger unit revenue. The farm equipment retailer Tractor Supply sank 8.3% after the company said sales of seasonal goods fell during the first quarter. In the industrial sector, Fasenal led the sector slide tumbling 8% after the maker of industrial coatings and construction fasteners disclosed that its business was hurt by higher freight expenses and inventory costs. Other laggards in the sector included United Rentals, which slid 3.8%, and Rockwell Automation, which shed 3.8%. Asian stocks traded mixed on Thursday in morning session after Trump said he preferred the Federal Reserve keep interest rates low as the dollar is getting too strong. Japan's Nikkei slumped 1%. Australian stocks fell 0.7%, while South Korea's Kospi index added 0.07%. In Hong Kong, the Hang Seng Index declined 0.16% and China's Shanghai Composite Index rose 0.07%. Yeah.